Hey, I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect, and welcome to this tutorial about finding tangents in Blender. Have you ever needed uh, to find the tangent lines or edges between two circles, one circle and one arc, or two arcs? Well, that is a common problem in many uh, projects uh, that require full precision over uh, their designs. That is uh, the case for mechanical modeling or uh, 3D printing. Uh, depending on what you need, you might have to find those uh, types of relations between two circular shapes. Uh, in some cases, many people uh, or some people might think, well, isn't it just, the, just a case to select two vertices here and press the F key? It might look like a tangent, but it's not a, a tangent. It's not perfect. That's not the perfect uh, type of thing that we need with precise modeling. Uh, in Blender, we have many ways uh, to, uh, to find or use those two or connect those two elements. And one of the uh, techniques or uh, add-ons that I like the most to use for those situations is PDT. Uh, PDT stands for uh, Precision Drawing Tools. It's this add-on here. It, uh, it is an add-on that has many different parts. If I expand everything, it's one of the best tools to work with precise modeling in Blender. And we have a dedicated section. Let me just hide everything else. We have a dedicated section just to find tangents. Uh, PDT is part of the Blender official extensions repository. To install it, you just have to go into Edit, Preferences, uh, Get Extensions, and type here PDT, and you will find Precision Drawing Tools there. You need to grant Blender uh, internet access to install PDT from the official repository. Now, how can we find the tangent lines or edges between these two uh, circles? It's the same object. Uh, if you notice here, they are the same object. Uh, PDT uh, works on uh, many different ways. And one of the first things, one of the things that we have to always do with PDT is to find something or define something called working plane. Here in the PDT tangents, you have to choose what is the plane where you are working, uh, which one uh, of them you are working. Uh, it, gives you an option to work from the front, top, right, or view. I'm actually right now at top view, orthographic, so I would change this to top. And to locate the tangent point or create the tangent point between these two circles, I will expand this option, uh, this panel, to display two options here to find the center point of those two circles. I will select this first one. Click here on set from arc. It's uh, it's set uh, it's saying arc here, but it also works for circles. It found the coordinates for the center and the radius. I will repeat the same process with this uh, second center set from arc. It located the center point and the radius. Now, what I can do here is set the tangent mode. It can find the tangent mode from the inner outer border or uh, from both or from a vertex. I will set this to outer and I will click on this button here, tangent from inputs. And as you can see, it just found the tangent and uh, it's a perfect tangent. You can see that it doesn't match any existing vertex from either circle. So it's just not a matter of uh, selecting one of those vertices here on the border and try to connect them. What if we need to find the tangents from a vertex? Let me erase these two edges and we can try with a random vertex. Let me place this vertex here. I just created a copy, Sh press Shift D and it will create a copy. And I will change here the tangent mode to from point. And now I will select the tangent point from vertex. You can also use the, the 3D cursor in case you want. From vertex, it found the coordinates from, uh, from my uh, vertex. Let me double check. We are in top. Uh, the work mode is set to top. I will select this circle here at the top and press this button. Select uh, tangents from selection and it will find the tangents. 
what if we need to find the tangents to this other circle? Just create the circle, uh, keep the same coordinates, press tangents uh, from selection, and it will find the tangents. This is how easy and fast it is to work with a PDT for this type of task. Again, this is extremely important for anyone working with uh, mechanical modeling, machine parts, 3D printing. It's a great resource. If you are not using, I strongly advise you to start looking around or trying to use a PDT for your projects. And this is it. This is how you can find tangents of, uh, in Blender for precise modeling. In case you like this tutorial, you find it useful. Someone else might find it useful if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the future updates. See you next time. Bye.